Come on, Mr. Frog. No, yeah, let's go that way. Uh, yeah, wow, you, you can jump. Oh, yeah, there we go, back outside. Oh, goodbye. All right. Well, I got about a quarter of the way done with that kitchen counter before I put a wood splinter in my eye. Um, might be able to see how red it is. There's still something in there. I've been washing it out, but boy, it hurts. Um, yeah, I got two legs done, cut, and this happened. Um, I'm washing out my eye, but uh, it's uh, really bothersome. Um, tomorrow I'll probably hang insulation because that's something I know I can do and uh, I won't hurt myself doing it. <laughs> Anyways, jeez. So I uh, completely changed the design for this kitchen counter. Um, I went from something that was a teeny bit complicated to the easiest thing I could think of. Um, originally I was gonna do bolts and actual joists and now I, uh, I'll, I'll show you. So instead of joists or anything, I uh, just screwed some two by sixes into the four by fours and then put my boards on top. I'm gonna have to cut out where the sink is gonna go and put some support on the bottom for that middle beam. But this is a lot simpler design. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's, I mean, I was just sitting on it. it was, nothing really was happening. Um, but I didn't wanna mess something up and end up wasting wood. 
so here I am with this simpler design and hopefully that gets me there. I'm going to put some braces on the bottom and with these two by fours, I'm going to put them on the bottom here, maybe a foot up to keep the legs from wobbling. Um, it doesn't wobble. All the, actually, it doesn't wobble at all. That's impressive. Um, and I mean, fine. Nothing really happens. That middle board is a little weak. It's going to need support, but I'll figure that out. All right, I know I said I'd uh, cut the sink out, but I don't know if any of y'all noticed in the video, but I forgot my Sharpie and a pencil and pen at my house. I couldn't find any of that in my car. Um, so I was actually scoring my cuts with my pocket knife um, and, you know, just running it along the table. And I think my cuts were a little more accurate, but I have to cut out this sink and I don't want to mess that up. Um, I'll show y'all. So I have my first iteration of the countertop here and I'm going to sort of use that as a template because it mounted perfectly. Um, but I want to draw with a sharpie in there and not score with a knife. It'll be a lot more accurate. I can guarantee a cleaner cut. And when I put this on here, I'll clamp this down, measure on each side, make sure it's uh, even. I mean, this is a little smaller than the new countertop. So I've, I'm going to have maybe half inch on each side or whatever. I'll measure it out and I'll cut this out, figure out exactly where it's going to be. I can put my two by four brace underneath so it doesn't fall apart once it's cut and uh, we should be good to go. Um, I'm hoping it'll be sturdy enough once I take that huge chunk of wood out of the middle where I don't need other legs where these legs will do. Um, I'm not sure because uh, really the stress points are going to be right here. It's going to be holding up the entire sink and the counter and everything else there. The original plan was to have four sets of legs. I might even end up doing just, I mean, I have cut for another one right there. I might just end up throwing that right here and that'll serve dual purpose. It'll take care of that middle board on that side and it'll provide a lot more support. Um, I mean, that would be overkill for this two foot section of counter over here, but uh, I don't know. Well, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to cut this, get my Sharpie, do it properly, um, and just see how weak this thing is. Right now it's sturdy, and uh, if a sink didn't need to go in the middle of it, it'd be fine. Uh, but uh, there needs to be a sink, and so we'll see if my uh, fly-by-the-wind strategy will work out. Anyways, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, been doing some stuff uh, in my personal life to where I wasn't working too much on this house, but we're back at it. Once this countertop's done, we'll be outside uh, installing the fence. Um, we'll be trying to finish out the finishing for the walls in here. We will probably be doing some insulation work, um, but the main priorities right now are to get a shower installed, get the fence up, and get this kitchen working and we will be golden uh, thanks for watching till next time